everyone, welcome back to my channel Pavins Tarot. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you're all well and uh, yes, today it will be a serious uh, reading. I uh, assume you have already heard that uh, it's confirmed uh, Catherine has cancer and two months ago I did a reading and the cards showed that she might have cancer but now it's confirmed. I watched only the video um, of her and uh, one YouTube channel and um, she's quite skinny you can you could see it and I you know I thought uh, when I listened to her message we can be really happy that we are normal people because to be forced to disclose all your medical situation to the world it's it's not easy I suppose you know I for example when I get sick I go to a doctor get a doctor's notice hand it into my employer and that's it and even if my employer would dare to ask about my situation or when I would come back to work I could sue them so that's the situation we are in so it's not always a uh, a blessing to be in the public eye and what uh, made me really sad about her message was not what she was saying it was more how she said it you could hear you know her uh, anxiety as well you know because cancer of course it is uh, treatable but you never know the outcome it can be positive and unfortunately it can be sometimes negative because you have always the fear even if you're recovered it can come back one day and if you have three small children okay uh, uh, George is a bit older but he's still a child and um, how do you explain that it's to them I, I think that was really hard for her so I will have a look into the cards today I will do a quick um, update on her health and how she will recover at least I hope the media will now uh, keep her alone and let's deal, uh, let her deal with her with her treatment because uh, I th in her voice you could hear it that she w is quite anxious and uh, she has more to um, be concerned about than uh, the public actually it's more her family her three small children and you know it's uh, I think it is uh, not easy I suppose so I have shuffled the cards my first reading will be about her recovery a health reading actually I don't do I don't like to do health readings that's why I avoid them but today I will have a quick look how her treatment will go and um, hopefully um, she will recover smoothly uh, let's see what the cards will tell us. So I will cut the cards. Overshadowing the whole reading is the hanged man. She's, she is major arcana first of all. Hanged man is being in sus uh, suspension. There is not much you can do. It's not that... First of all you get an upside down look on the world. On, on your work for example. On your family. On, your, on everything in your life. If you have done everything correct, if you're on the right path, it's an upside down, uh, you know, you see everything from a different direction. But this is also a card of suspension. So that means uh, she is not uh, able to uh, interfere with the treatment. She has to... Um, she has to follow orders and rules. What the medical staff told her she has to do there's not much she can do herself hanged man so in the center is oh no i had it in my last reading two months ago as well the ten of swords this is normally uh, uh so all cards will be badly aspected which will now follow unfortunately this is um uh, it's normal uh, uh, ritualistic death also backstabbing 
because she was really treated uh, really not well by the media, you know, forcing somebody to come out and make a statement, this is really not, um, not how humans should behave towards other humans. And for example, I always say, hypocrisy is our downfall of our whole society. And this is, we are hypocritic people. Everybody is, you know, uh, I don't want to get into it. So, Ten of Swords, it's very serious. Uh, this is an ending card. The best way to describe this card, really the really most optimistic way, would be there is another surgery. But this would be a massive surgery. Behind that is the King of Cups. King of Cups normally would be King Charles, but could also be uh, Prince William. He would be more the Knight of Cups. But it's because this is behind, it's somehow that she has the support, even though it doesn't show in the media or that the media doesn't portray it as it is, but it looks like as she is supported by the King. Five of Pentacles, this is a great illness card next to the swords because the king is also uh, uh badly aspect negatively aspected because i said in all my readings i suppose that i don't do reverse cards because the uh, layout already shows it so let's say uh, because king of uh king charles has also cancer i will look in the second reading into prince uh, into king charles so K princess catherine now five of uh pentacles Five is a small challenge normally, but this is being sick. It's a sickness card can show sick because you can see here the person, the one on uh, uh, with crutches, and uh, also this is normally a poverty card. Of course, she has the wealth, so I wouldn't assume that it's poverty, but this would lead to. Uh, I personally. With these cards now, I don't see that she thinks that will be a positive outcome. Could also be a depression card that she might uh, slip into depression or is already in because this is the situation how it's at the moment. So let's see what the next card is. The Fool. New beginning, <coughs> new, beginning new adventures, but also being fooled. Here it could suggest it's ne negatively aspected again. Also here it's negatively aspected with the Five of Pentacles. For her it's a new adventure in the best way to describe it, which is absolutely scary for her. Even though she tried in a message today to show optimism, she's not optimistic at all. I don't know why, but here strength. Strength is normally uh, energies, but she's uh, her energies are fading. With these two cards here, her energies are fading. I said in the beginning of this uh, video already that she looked very skinny. Of course, if you go undergo treatment, uh, you can you will lose weight. Maybe some people do and some people don't, but she lost a lot of weight, and. Um, it's not only the weight loss, it's more the muscle protein loss, you know, and it's, this is what gives you energy. So she is bodily losing her appearance and also her strength and vitality. Not good cards so far. I hope the next ones will be better because this, this will look into the future. Oh, King of Swords. I will come to that. Then the King of Wands, again two kings. And the Eight of Pentacles. So let's start. So these are already three cards which are neither positive nor negative. So the King of Swords can be a surgeon and it looks like as she will have another operation or surgery. King of Swords, the King of Wands is a person of action. Here are the already people involved because we have almost all three, we have almost all four king cards except the one which would be great to have here, the king of pentacles. Because pentacles is earth, it's also our body. 
but it's action it's like uh, i will say it i will uh, uh she will have a long recovery when she has her next operation or surgery she will be able to uh, take action and start new businesses in the sense like not businesses but new endeavors you know being more optimistic and so on and there will be also somebody who will uh, uh, guide her um, this is not William William does it does not show up here and also not the children at all so because this is her private matter it is her health so all the other people in the family of course they are involved in it but more as a mental support but she doesn't see it as a mental support she's dealing with it alone and she feels left alone but here with the eight of uh, pentacles it means this is hard work this will be not a speedy recovery at all it will take quite a long time but it doesn't say that the outcome will be bad. The situation at the moment is, uh, let's say, uh, not very optimistic, but the future looks already a bit better. I'm now scared to take another card because I'm uh, scared to have the Four of uh, Swords, which is my death card, the Devil. It's also not bad, uh, good. The Tower would be, or the death card would be, uh, uh, not good cards that's why i will leave it like how it is at the moment she will make the sun would have been great would be good if this next card would be the sun but uh, <laughs> i'm not scared i don't know shall i take the next card shall i not shall i take it shall i not but it is already a long recovery please be a positive card oh yes the nine of pentacles also not a major arcana that's um you could say it's positive or negative no it's not negative it's more neutral she will have a long recovery and she will be back in the garden of eden so it looks a bit promising for her but it will be a long way down the road so this was my first reading so i sent uh catherine lots of uh light and healing because i don't um consider her as a manipulative negative person of course she's capricorn capricorns are headstrong ambitious and so on. can be cold or perceived as cold or distanced or reserved but i have never seen her as somebody who is mean or wants to harm people or so she lives her life and accepts the duties she has to fulfill and uh, that's it she never never came across as a negative person she also never came across or she never wanted to be diana 2.0 or 4.0 or 3.0 or whatever you want to have she wanted to go her own way so and that's why i will do the second reading because the media and a few people have been really really not kind to her in the last couple of days and weeks and i will now shuffle the cards again and i will now once for all do a quick reading really really quick only about catherine regarding the allegations megan markle made that she is a racist prince charles or king charles or at then prince charles at that time was a racist as Meghan markle uh, said and also catherine where i was really surprised when i heard catherine if she said camilla i would you know take it even though i don't see camilla as a racist either but uh you know i would have understood it but as the mean step mother-in-law but Catherine I was really at that time and I and I at least it went away quickly the media didn't report much more about it because I thought it was an unfair judgment it was just to how shall I put it uh, 
tamper with the reputation of Catherine. So I have shuffled the cards. Quick reading. Is Catherine a racist? Again, the hanged man. Susp suspension. I get this very, very often. Here in this case, it doesn't say yes or no. It says just... She leaves it alone. There's rumors and so on. What Megan uh, said, she doesn't want to, you know, interfere with that or make any comments or statements about it. Because here you are in the air and this is also a traitor card in a sense. The hanged man. It came from the traitors. So let's have a quick look. King of Swords, death. Rumors are already over. No, again, the Ten of Swords. Strength, again, I didn't shuffle the cards maybe, but the cards are how they come out. So King of Cups, so long story short, she uh, took uh, the uh, King of Swords. They want to harm her reputation, uh, kill her in the sense of killing her. Maybe positive opinion the people have about her. They want to ki kill this. They want to, you know, uh, harm her in the sense, take her energies and her power away. But she w is quite detached by that and she didn't even bother to, you know, take this serious. And here the King of Cups uh, is uh, King Charles, actually, negatively aspected, uh, by the way, all cards, because they want to... Uh, uh, tempt her reputation yeah queen of pentacles here she is then the queen of swords and justice you know what uh i see her as she will be the queen of pentacles she is it not not yet but when she becomes queen she will be the queen of pentacles because she's an earth sign this is a very solid woman very uh um frugal in a sense but also knows how to make business then here the Queen of Swords is like being detached and don't give any uh, uh, input or give any way for this media uh, and also this gossip anyway. Just detach yourself from that and that's how she's handling that and justice will be served to her. So Major Arcana. So this rumors about her being a racist is absolutely not true. It was put there into the public just to you know, ruin her reputation. Ru this is also a ruin card because swords is also communication, can be reputation, but reputation would be also a combination with water, for example. Here it is. So it was just, she is not a racist. She lives in a different uh, world, but that doesn't mean that she's a racist. So this was, but you know it already. You could already guess when you heard the rumor, uh, the statement, that uh, Catherine is a racist or made racist comments, that this was uh, not uh, not true. And the cards show that that was just made up. So I will quickly have a look into King Charles's uh, health because they said, um, you know, the last couple of weeks, it was all Catherine, 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 where is she? Uh, is there a body double, a double, a double or doppelganger? For me, all VIP or celebrities have a doppelganger or like a stand-in for them. And I'm hundred percent sure Catherine and King Charles, also William, might have. Not might. I'm almost sure that they have. You know, like kind of people who just take their roles sometimes at some events. So I wouldn't be surprised about that. But all the media and so spoke about uh, or reported about Catherine, but nothing about King Charles. Because he's the king, we should be, or the people in the Commonwealth and in Britain and so on, should be more worried about him because he's the ruling king. Who is Catherine in the sense? Of course, she will be uh, the queen consort as soon, or I think she will maybe also be queen or when uh, uh, Prince uh, William uh, ascends to the throne. But for now, she's 
just a working royal, nothing more. So people should be more uh, be more intrigued by the situation of uh, King Charles because he's the ruler, he's the king. But I don't see anything in the media at the moment about him. A little, little bit of tidbits, but not, not nothing more. And nobody tried to steal his uh, medical records, which, you know, if I were Catherine, of course, she's now going ma major surgery, uh, major treatment now. I would sue the hospital. This is a breach of her privacy and intimacy. You know, that people even had the opportunity to steal her medical records. If I were, I would think the medical records of King Charles are more valuable than Catherine's, but it doesn't seem so. So I would sue them, uh, really, because this is they overstepped. So now I will cut the cards. Let's have a look. Overshadowing the whole reading. How is the half situation or healing situation of King Charles? I don't know what's tonight happening. The Fool. Starting a new adventure and so on. Major Kana, I think we've overshadowing the whole reading is the Fool. So there is a new beginning. It could be in his case that they are trying a new treatment. Some treatment they have not, maybe it's it's not on the market yet. Hmm. I'm not sure, but that's the first, what I think. Oh, two of swords, indecision, balancing, and could be surgery, also with communication. Blindfolded, they have stopped the press, the media to report anything about King Charles' health situation here. They have stopped, the palace interfered and said no reports about King Charles, only what we give out. Hmm, but this is a minor card too. The Hierophant, the spiritual leader. I told you something with a new treatment. They are exploring or experimenting with him. Of course, five again, a small challenge. This is normally my occultism card. Of course, you know, if you go uh, undergo cancer treatment, why not, you know, do some magic or something like that to, you know, try to get a positive outcome. But uh, this is in the past, in the background. Oh, the stars, hopes and f wishes are fulfilled. This is an Aquarius, uh, Aquarian energy, Aquarius, air energy and Aquarians or Aqu Aquarius the sign. This is everything about new, you know, like new, like IT, robotics, automatization, uh, you know, rocket science. It's also the uh, sign of the astrologer Aquarius. So everything which is absolutely um, uh, how shall I put it? Not the norm, the extraordinary. So it would fit into a new way of treatment. Here, the page of wands, taking small actions. I would say, I will take one card more, yeah. Here with this card, I don't see that he's going to into chemotherapy. chemotherapy. Or chemotherapy. He's not in chemo. He's doing a different treatment. We know that uh, King Charles is for alternative medicines and treatments could be something that will work for him. Maybe he's taking that route to, you know, to show the public or the future because uh, the star is also looking into the future, everything what's new. Maybe he is thinking because he's really behind alternative medicine about organic farming and everything like that. It could be that he's trying a new way of treatment to show the public, okay, I'm already in my mid seventies and thinking maybe that 
I won't live anyway that long. So why shouldn't I be the guinea pig for a new treatment and show the world that there is that there are some alternatives if you have cancer, for example, to treat it in new ways. Sounds very strange. I know sometimes I come up with things, but but I have to be my readings have to be proven wrong. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Here is the emperor, yeah, the king himself. The sun healing. He will is. Sh you know, I said it before and now it comes up. He's showing a new way of healing, the Emperor. You need for that healing, it's something to do with water, so something with fluids. But it needs patience. It's a more a long time uh, treatment in the sense, because here the person is waiting. Could be also that they, they have the, his medical professionals have suggested him cancer treatment by Cabo and he is waiting here and it's not taking the offer. Let's take the last card. Yeah, a page of swords. This is the pupil. It is, as I said, he's trying a new way of treatment because this is something which is not on the market yet. Hmm, very interesting. So that's my readings uh, for tonight. Um, of your, of uh, he's uh, definitely on his healing journey, but he has to be patient, and he knows that, and he is really going a new way, an alternative way. We will see if we ever find out. Of course, if the treatment is positive, it's possible that the media or uh, the doctors or he himself will talk about it but for now I don't see that but let's wait and see and I uh, wish both of them Catherine and also Charles a good recovery speedy recovery with Catherine unfortunately it will take longer and just leave her alone okay I won't do uh, any other reading about Catherine for the near future, maybe in two months ago, uh, in two months again, because we should leave her alone. Also that, I mean by that, also we tarot card readers, you know, we shouldn't interfere too much in her life or look too much into her life. Let's see uh, what's happened. I thank you very much for watching my video. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.